Hi, I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me. Several weeks ago, I wrote about the Setting Every Community Up for Retirement Enhancement Act, also known as SECURE. This particular act will reform various aspects of U.S. retirement laws, and the act was passed in the House in May, and uh, it's currently stalled in the Senate. We don't know how long it might be stalled. Uh, as you'll find out, I think it's a pretty good thing that it is stalled at the moment. Uh, there's a couple really troubling things about the SECURE Act. I've already uh, recorded one uh, video talking about the it, it will end the stretch IRA. If that's not troubling enough, uh, one of the uh, provisions is going to be that it will ease regulations, making it easier for financial salespeople to sell annuities to 401k plan participants. Now, this really is pretty alarming as the Act creates a safe harbor for annuities inside 401k plans, which means companies choosing to offer annuities would now be shielded from liability, no matter how terrible an investment the annuity product might be. This provision really has a lot of potential for harm to 401k plan participants. Annuities always seem to be a hot financial product in the marketplace. It's really rare that I don't interview a new client that they don't have at least one annuity in their portfolio. Often, even worse, it's the only investment that they own. Annuities are not hot because consumers are clamoring to buy them, but rather because annuity salespeople love to sell them. Well, I rarely recommend them myself, and in that manner, I agree with Ken Fisher. There's some good things about annuities, especially that earnings grow tax-deferred until distributed. They can be useful in this regard in special situations, very special situations, especially when stripped of their high fees and commissions. Now, therein lies the problems. Most annuities are sold by salespeople inherently interested in the high fees and big commissions and high penalties to consumers for taking the money out early so they can afford to pay the high commissions. What that means for the investor are low returns. For those reasons, the negative aspect of annuities far outweigh any good. And even worse, annuities have no place being owned by an IRA or, as the SECURE Act would allow, a 401k plan. Regardless of fees or commissions, no annuity belongs in a retirement plan. It's one of my top pet peeves. Uh, financial planners or so-called financial advisors uh, who sell people fixed and variable annuities for a retirement account just make no sense. An annuity is a tax-deferred container to put inv investments in, not an investment itself. It's what investments are inside of it that matters. The same is true of IRAs and 401k retirement plans. Since a retirement plan is already a tax-deferred investment container, it just makes no sense to put an annuity, which is another tax-deferred investment container, inside of it. The silliness of this obvious, uh, I mean, it, it's just obvious to even the most casual observer that this is crazy unless your livelihood comes from selling these products. Agents and their companies spare no expense developing convincing storylines, half-truths, and sleight-of-hand explanations of why it makes perfect sense for a retirement plan to own an annuity. But the bottom line is that annuities are sold. They're not bought. 
The only reason annuities are purchased in someone's retirement account is because the salesperson receives a much higher commission from the transaction than selling a mutual fund, individual stocks, or a certificate of deposit. So why then did our representatives vote 417 to 3 to open up investors 401k plans to these high cost, high commission, financially disastrous products. I can only surmise that most of them didn't understand what they were voting on and that the insurance lobby did their normal amazing job of selling the alleged benefits of annuities. Well, and maybe there was a com campaign contribution or two involved. Most annuities are expensive investment vehicles that benefit the salesperson and the company that, that uh, uh, sponsors them far more than they benefit you. If you're thinking of buying one, or in the future your 401k offers the option of buying an annuity, do some digging before you sign on the dotted line. Make sure that you get advice first from someone other than the annuity salesperson. Someone with no vested interest in selling you this product. Thanks for listening.